y'all, hey, what's up? Ace here for your weekly Battle of the X's Challenge recap. I think this is episode 9, and it's almost the last episode, you guys. They're halfway through the final challenge. Well, they're kind of halfway through the challenge. They're sleeping on a glacier. Anyway, let's get into it. So the episode started off with everybody partying. You know I like that. But that quickly ends, and then they all go back to the house, and they're chilling around the table, all talking, and Robin is talking about how they're never going to win this, her and Mark. Uh, and she cries. Again, she cries. They quickly give her a nice little pep talk, and then she's like, I'm gonna go in and we're gonna win this. It was just like a 360, so nice job, Robin. Johnny and Mark were joking with each other about how Mark's so old and how Johnny has to go against the old guy in the dome, but Mark's ready. Mark's ready to go into this dome, and he puts on his old school road rules red bandana to show everybody just how ready he is. Yeah, boy! It's like road rules one all over again. Damn, that was a long time ago. I must have been like 10. So it was, in fact, like 10 or 11. Anyway, moving on. 9 or 10. Correction, 9 or 10. Mark is old. Just kidding, Mark. I love you. So, in the very last dome, they picked X Battle. And of course they did, because this is the one where they have to get down and dirty and wrestle each other in the mud, get really physical, and beat the shit out of each other, pretty much, uh, for one of them to win. Robin goes into the challenge all confident, acting all hardcore, and I was like, let's see what happens with this. Let's just see if she puts up a good fight. And she, I mean, uh, mm, no, she didn't. She got uh, kicked out by Camilla. Two times. Both times that she tried, she lost. So, you know, I think her confidence was fake. And on the inside, she was crying, still telling herself that her team was going to lose and go home. <laughs> so when it's Johnny and Mark's turn, everybody is like on the edge of their seat. And it's a really good matchup because, I mean, it's Johnny and Mark. So intense. I was like on the couch like, who's going to win? So Johnny takes it in the first round away from Mark. And then Mark comes out and he's got like blood on his shirt and he's like, oh no, nobody draws blood on me. That's when I get crazy. So then he goes into the second round feeling all pumped up and he kills it in the second round. So now Johnny has one and Mark has one and now they have to go again to see who's going home. <sighs> Stressful. So it was down to that last round and Johnny takes it. He took it and him and Camilla Team Spicy Bananas are in the final, just like I thought they would be. It was really sad to see Mark say what seemed to be his final goodbye to the challenges. We're gonna miss you, dude. You're awesome. You killed it for so many years. And uh, yeah, challenge OG, my friend. And saying goodbye to Robin, I mean, it just really makes me wanna <laughs> cry. So three teams are left to go into the final challenge, and it's going to be crazy, as you saw at the beginning of its start. They go to Iceland, okay? So they show up in Iceland, and it's freezing fucking cold, all right? They meet up with TJ, and he tells them that they have 24 hours to hang out and bullshit before he calls them to let them know when the challenge is going to happen. So they set them up at the Hilton, and they give them all this gear that they're going to have to wear, and that's when they start kind of being like... Oh shit, this challenge is going to be really difficult because I have like 15 layers of clothes to put on. It's going to be super crazy and awesome. Then they go and get drunk. Duh. And then they all go back to the hotel and they all sat around and they had this little powwow of love confessions to one another. And it was so cute, all you guys. I really do like all six people that are left. I wasn't too sure how I felt about Ty and Emily at the beginning of the challenge just because neither one of them were like a favorite of mine on the real world or anything like that. But they were a really good team and they've proved themselves all the way up into this point. So I'm excited to see what they're going to do in the final challenge. They're pretty tough. Side note, did you guys see Johnny Bananas eating a banana? Best shot of the whole episode last night. So they all show up in all of their snow gear from head to toe and they're ready. They're stuffed up like sausages and they're ready to take on this glacier challenge. Let's do this. Ace so cold. I would die in this challenge. Just saying. If you would also die, tell me in the comments. I do not have the strength nor endurance to take that kind of cold for that long. Especially while doing shit. While doing other shit. I can barely like move in this thing right now and I'm just sitting here. 
That's why I love watching the challenge because I don't have to actually do the challenge. There we go. So when they showed like the map of the challenge, the challenge has like 800 checkpoints and it looks like they have to sleep overnight. So they start off and everybody has to race each other uh, to the first checkpoint on dog sleds. Each team gets a dog sled, right? Well, Camilla starts talking about how she feels like Angelina Jolie in a movie, except that she has about 500 layers of clothes on. Ty and Emily have the laziest dogs. Theirs are slow. And Johnny Banana says that his dogs did not eat enough Alpo this morning. CT and DM's dogs are running like hell. They're fast as fuck. I would have liked to be on their dog sled. So CT and DM get to the checkpoint first and they start hiking it up to the next checkpoint, which is the riverfront, where they're gonna have to jump in the water. Okay, do you understand how cold this water is? But don't worry, they have a warming van on site. To get their next artifact, which is what they have to get at every checkpoint to move on to the next checkpoint in this final challenge, they have to jump in the water. Both of the teammates, they have to strip down to their skivvies and then jump in the water, touch a buoy, get the hell out of the water because if they're in there for like 30 seconds or more, they could die. No big deal. So CT and DM are up first and I'm fucking cold on the couch watching this go down. I'm even cold watching them before they have to jump into this icy ass water. So they have to run in the water, touch this buoy, and then run back out to the shore. Is it a shore if it's a glacier? I don't care. CT and DM jump in and they did it like super fast. My favorite quote came from CT after he jumped in the water. It was so funny and he said, I feel like I may have just crapped a six pack of ice cubes. Ty and Emily wound up getting the lowest time, but Ty, when he jumped in the water, he just like dove. I mean, his whole body went underneath the water. I would have been trying to keep like at least some body parts like from here up out of that water. Long story short, CT and DM did the best. They got the best time, so they were rewarded with the best sleeping arrangement on the glacier. Ty and Emily did the worst, so they get the worst sleeping arrangements on the glacier. So when they get to their sleeping arrangements, they see that there's three tents and a fire. So the first tent was like all nice and it had like for sleeping bags or whatever and blankets and like heating lamp and an air mattress and then Ty and Emily's who had the worst tent they were just basically sleeping on a yoga mat inside of a tent on top of ice. Sucks to be you guys. But anyway that's basically where the episode ended and where they leave us to wonder what the hell's gonna happen next week for the rest of the final challenge. So what I want you guys to do is if you have enough balls and you should because it's just me it's just me here. I want you to leave me a video response and tell me your prediction on who you think is going to win the final challenge and take first place. And to also tell me if you think anybody's gonna wuss out and quit, cause if you quit, you don't get shit. If you quit, you don't get shit. Right, TJ Lavin? So yeah, if you wanna do that, just go down to the comments section, go to post a video response, and post a little video of you saying, who you think will win the final challenge and take home the biggest prize. And if you don't have enough balls, just tell me in the comments, you know, in text form. I'm gonna go ahead and say that I predict that my favorite team on this whole challenge that has made it to the final challenge, awesome, CT and DM, I predict that they're gonna win the first prize. So now, you tell me. Tell me in the comments or leave a video response. So I wanted to tell you guys something else before I go that will be put down in the description. So make sure to check out all those awesome challenge links. You remember Derek, Derek, Derek from the challenges on his website, ultimatechallengeradio.com, the Challenge Madness 2012 tournament where you can go. It's like a March Madness kind of deal, but with challenge members on it and you get to go and choose who you think will move on to the next round. So I'm gonna go ahead and post the link to that in the description and you should go and play because obviously you're a fan of this show and so it would be fun for you. It's a fantasy thing and uh, yeah, it's in the first round right now so you can get on over there and put your votes in. I know I did. So yeah, besides that, I'm just looking forward to next week and seeing who's gonna take home all that money and uh, I hope it's CT and DM. Thanks to everybody who's been watching these recaps. They've been really fun and I'll see you guys next week for the final episode. How sad. A Battle of the X's challenge recapped with Ace. Peace out.